I'd like to call this meeting to order for the regular session of the Blackhawk County Board of Supervisors for June 13, 2023. Roll call, please, Mr. Veter. Hall? Here. Little? Here. Schwartz? Here. Jalka? Here. Balin? Here. Would everyone please join us for a moment of silence to reflect on our actions here today? Thank you. Would you please join us now for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item one is the agenda received as proposed or as amended. So moved. Second. And moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed, same <clears throat> sign. The agenda is received. Item two, public comments. Is there anyone in the audience today that would like to comment on anything that is not on today's agenda? Anyone on Zoom? Public comments. Seeing and hearing none, we'll move on to claims and payments. This is a resolution that the Board of Supervisors approve expenditures and that the county attorney be authorized and directed to issue checks against the various settlement of such claims as allowed. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Ms. B. Ms. Wiener. Good morning, Board. Good morning. Our total payments today are $453,528.88. And of that, we are making a large payment for the big trauma Pictrometry software that's used by the assessor's office that amounts $170,870. We are also paying $1,747.02 out of the share of 6040 fund. Everything appears to be in order. Are there any questions or any discussion? Linda, I've got one question. Uh, yes. Um, is there anybody there from the sheriff's office? I can't see around the corner, but I was no. going to say, not in the audience. No, it doesn't look okay. right. Okay. Uh, the one bill that was on there, I don't know if it was taken off for the uh, range for the garbage hauling. Um, they need to probably check with Rory. We have a county policy. If you're in the rear of taxes, we can't do business, sign a contract. Mm. Mm -hmm. we can and do I think the who they're working with, I believe, is are behind taxes yes I remember they were at one time I don't know if they still are so yeah you're right to check on that and Rory is here today so he's heard that so we'll have him follow up on that thank you mm -hmm. thank you so it's been motioned and seconded and with that discussion please answer as your name is called Paul yes little yes short yes Choka. yes Leland yes Thank you. Item four, receive project updates from department heads and elected officials. Morning board, Ryan Brennan, assistant county engineer. Uh, we have several construction projects continuing this week. Uh, our paving on Washburn Road actually just finished up last week. They're working on some of the shoulders and miscellaneous work. So hopefully we'll have that one completed here in the next couple weeks. Uh, we also have some guard rail projects continuing on Elk Run Road. That's a joint project with the city of Elk Run. Um, and then we're also in the process of uh, getting ready for our bridge deck power out on Pointer Road. So it's been good to kind of see the weather playing nice and pro you know, just uh, projects continue along. So. Yeah, great. Any questions or comments for? Nope. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else in the audience? Anyone on Zoom? Seeing none, we'll move on to item five, minutes approved for June 6, 2023. So moved. Second. Second. When I, uh, when I look at the meetings, and I, I read a lot of meeting minutes. I've never seen such thorough, complete, and accurate minutes as we get from Grant and Tim. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Grant. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, minutes are approved. 
Later today, we have a hearing and a bid opening for the purchase of one excavator. Moving on to the consent agenda. Following items are acted upon by a single resolution without separate discussion unless someone has an item they'd like to remove for discussion. So moved. Second. So moved and seconded. Please answer as your name is called. Little? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Jelka? Yes. Hall? Yes. Leyland? Yes. Item 8, contracts and agreements. Resolution that the general assistance agreements with a 3% increase between Blackhawk County and Eastside Ministerial Alliance and Jesse Cosby Neighborhood Center, operation threshold also, to establish requirements that each agency shall comply with to be entitled to allocate designated funds to eligible Blackhawk County residents applying for shelter and energy assistance effective July 1, 2023, be approved and direct the chair to sign for the same as recommended by Colleen Shipper, General Assistance Coordinator. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Colleen. Good morning. Good morning. Just wanted to be sure and extend a thanks to the agencies for their continued support and their partnership. They just do an outstanding job each and every day. The only, um, there's only two changes within the agreement. The first one is a 3% administrative um, fund increase. We did not grant them an increase in fiscal year 23 because the numbers were just so low because of all the COVID funds. Our numbers are shooting back pre-COVID numbers. So the total increase would be 2,500 split between the three agencies, which is much deserved. And then the only other change in the policy or in the agreement would be I'm requesting an income guideline increase to match 100% of the poverty guidelines. We did that for the first time in fiscal year 23 and that's panning out very well. Our budget is sustaining that. Our numbers have not really increased because of the income guideline increase. I'm sure they have a little bit, but it's nothing substantial. So I think that going forward, I would like to continue to do that each and every year. And we'll be motioning for that in an item just yeah, a little bit later, yep. but thank you. And that's you. just within the agreement also, and then there's also a motion for the policy itself. Any questions? Any questions? Mm. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. All in favor say aye. 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 Resolution. Aye. Resolution. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> I'm moving past. Resolution. Please answer as your name is called. <laughs> Schwartz? Yes. Jelka? Yes. Hall? Yes. Little? Yes. Leyland? Yes. Thank you. Item B, resolution that the request for purchase of capital equipment submitted by Catherine Nicholas, county engineer, be approved and direct the chair to sign for same to purchase one Massey Ferguson in the amount of $58,835 from Dumont Implement in Dumont, Iowa. So moved. Second. So moved and seconded. Ryan. Again, Ryan Brennan, assistant county engineer. Uh, this is just uh, part of our uh, equipment placement. Um, we did receive three different quotes for the tractors, one from PNK, Dumont, and then also Ziegler Ag and Equipment. So this was the lowest of the three. I'm sorry, what, what is the piece of equipment? That's a tractor that we use for mowing. Okay. Part of our so, roadside mowing program. Um, would you like it to say Massey Ferguson tractor in the motion? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Grant. Any other questions for Ryan? I'm sorry. This is a resolution. Please answer as your name is called. Trelka? Yes. Hall? Yes. Little? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Aylin? Yes. Item C, discussion and possible board action on a resolution to approve the project agreement with Urban Services LLC for Washburn sewer pump panel replacement in the amount of $429,047.40. Okay, I was gonna say who was leading this, yep. so great, yep. thank you. I just have, I guess, just a summary. Um, there's 146 control panels for pumps out there in Washburn. Of those, 75 are duplex, 71 simplex panels. This project replaces every single control panel out there. They're getting aged, weathered, outdated. Um, we're gonna be updating these two panels with much higher tech uh, controls. They're gonna have hour meters in them. They have technology that I can actually put a delay on an alarm so we reduce our number of false alarms. There are times where we get a, I get a call, I'll go out and the pump is pumped down past the alarm point, which 
somebody could have used an excessive amount of water in a short amount of time the pump does take some time to to catch up to that so there's many advantages to this um, you using me is an advantage because um, if it was outsourced I would like to be there on site either way to do the programming to inspect the job um, also there are certain stretches of pumps that are going to be need to be powered down during wiring electrical connections and whatnot so powering down and powering back up is is also uh, going to be included all in one with uh, your agreement with me so now this was a contract that we I think was mentioned we approved previously but this is a change yeah yeah it was some funding was approved but we ran into a, a, a little bit of snag so needed more need more than we thought was that we didn't actually have a written contract either which we Mike and I thought was important so oh okay well, both to protect was... the county and, and myself urban yes. services as well so okay that yes apparently good. there was a plan to and this was before my time but based on what I'm reading there was a plan to do a hundred thousand a year for several years um, where we're switching it to one contract to get done as he has time to not be concerned about allocating it over different periods of time Great. and I know Mike's reviewed this I was gonna say yep. the contract was included with the email but yep we went through and uh, made a made a handful of changes uh, nothing too significant the, the understanding's been the same throughout on this I think we may have possibly increase the number of panels we're replacing I don't know if the original plan was to um, no I think the number was always the same um, price of materials has gone up twice since we had first talked about this and this was back uh, before uh, current situation but um, yeah everything's kind of changed the amount of time it takes has changed um, I was looking for someone to come in and bid it for me they weren't really interested in doing that at all because of the size of the project and um, the intricacies of who's going to be there to shut the power off, who's going to turn it on. It would have been more of a time and materials type of thing, and it was going to be rather rather expensive as well. So. That jogs my memory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's all right. As far as the timeline, then, there is not one identified. It's kind of just working through the process. There, there is a completion time. date that yeah. I'm completely um, com comfortable with. I hope to be done six months before that. Um, end of next year, December 1st, would be the completion date. But... Uh, if I was to work on this full time, it would probably take me three or four months. So yeah, so okay. we, we've actually put in the contract June thirtieth of twenty twenty five. He's hoping to be done by December first. I, I just so many unexpected things happened with weather mm -hmm. and things like that that I wanted to make sure we put enough time in this to get it all finished. So we so, we were using yeah. June thirty, and we're something to come up. Yeah, we could open a discussion on it too, as far as knowing it has to meet your timeline. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, I feel very comfortable with with the gotcha. current date. So. Okay. Super. Thank you. So, would anyone like that in a motion, or if we, if we put that in a board action, anyone want to make that motion? Sure. Um, is this coming out of the uh, lost revenue? I think it's art. It's yes, ARPA. it is. ARPA. It is ARPA, but it is also lost revenue. Again, this project was started. Oh. prior to uh, I think the county becoming aware of some of the regulations around using the ARPA expense category funds so that is why it is being done with the lost revenue category. so the even the additional like the 429,000 well that that's not the any total portion yeah and no, not any is, portion comes no. out of the ARPA water Correct. and sewer not okay. not the expense yeah unfortunately not the sewer portion of ARPA which was one of the yeah kind of giveaway <laughs> categories but we did need to meet some requirements that we like yeah. procurement types of things yep. and that type correct of it was primarily a procurement issue yeah okay thanks for asking Tom I'd make the motion um, uh, to approve the project agreement with urban services second it's been moved and seconded um, we'll ask for a resolution so please answer as your name is called oh yes <clears throat> Little? Yes. Words? <coughs> yes. Jelka? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Item nine, other business. Motion that the revision of the Blackhawk County General Assistance Policy to increase income guidelines to match 100% of the poverty guidelines to be effective as of July 1st, 2023, 
be approved as recommended by Colleen Shepard, General Assistance Coordinator. So move. Second. Moved and seconded. If anybody a quick have question more for Colleen. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> is this indexing? Are we indexing to 100% of the poverty line? Or is this just an annual? An annual is what my request is. Uh, it hadn't been that previously. She brought no. that up during budget. Okay. But if you want to elaborate, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Personally, I would like to see us index it mm -hmm. so that we don't, so that we provide consistency to to residents that this service is going to be there. Um, you you mentioned it wasn't a huge budget <coughs> change. Okay. And right. what would that entail as far as? Of just indexing it. Yes. So we wouldn't have to come back every year oh, I see to approve it. Okay. Yeah. it would just, so just be, the policy it... would just be set at 100% of the federal guideline versus. I would be mm -hmm. in 100% agreement of that yeah. because I just haven't seen think... a lot of increase in the requests. So I just think that would be a very good thing. The um, poverty guidelines, it will increase $82 for one person in the household and then it goes up from there. With inflation, I just... Yeah, I just don't see any way around not increasing it. So mm -hmm. I would be all for just making this standard to do every single year. Oh, well, I think it's not that we have to do every year, but I thought that was maybe what we understood to do, that we were raising it to the 100% and it would remain there. But I appreciate you bringing it to our yeah. attention. That, like that's just confirming if that's Okay, the so yep. then it wouldn't have that to come That particular back. action, the other, the 3% and everything else you bring yes. back to us. Okay. 100%. On yep. an annual. But, but the yeah. policy itself. But the policy itself. So do we so need we'll, to reflect that in the yeah. language of the motion? I think Colleen and Thanks. I will revise that language under that monthly income guidelines. We'll this policy will just say it will match 100% of the federal poverty guidelines and then we'll have to do a separate attachment that we update our annually to show yep. the amounts. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that would not have to come back to you to show that just those to amounts. Okay. That. So yes. That sounds great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Great. This is a motion. Well, that I have a, okay. Oh, go Ooh, ahead, yeah, I, please. I'm not understanding. Are, are we uh, changing the language of this motion? That would be the oh. right. No? I was going to say the language of this motion is all right. I think it's just adding that to the guidelines. Actual but policy, yeah. Because this is what I think we agreed to. This is what we were doing, yep. right? Or, but mm -hmm. if we just want to confirm that, I don't know. Okay. So it's understood that you are changing to indexing rather than making individual changes on a yearly basis. Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, okay, maybe we need to revisit that. When you say indexing, I'm assuming you're only going to adjust it once a year on July 1st. I don't think we want to be adjusting it, yes, you know, correct. different in October, different in January. Yeah, so correct. So reset it every January or every July, July. 1st. Yes. Yeah, and that's what I would propose yeah. to keep it in line with the fiscal year is to that's do it July 1st. I know the guidelines, sometimes they change in January, but then they sometimes do change in October, and I just think that would be too confusing, but... Yeah, I just think match them every July 1st. So maybe we want to have this read to be adjusted each July Each 1st. July 1st, and that would make it, okay. We don't need to say the indexing, or do you want to use the term indexing? No. Okay, I think if we, <laughs> I'm worried about this people reflects. wondering when it, re when it applies. I think if we say to match 100% of the poverty guidelines to be adjusted, adjusted. Okay. each July 1st, yeah, annually as of July 1st, yeah, we'll yeah. adjust it annually that. then suffices. Does that meet for your approval grant or is that good enough to? Okay, thank you. Great. Time for the motion. There was a, there was Any a motion. I, I meant, oh, yeah. No, I meant to vote. Yeah, to go. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Item B, motion that the appointment of Charles Wobinet to the Blackhawk County Veteran Affairs Commission be approved effective July 1, 2023 for a term of three years. So moved. Second. Thank you. Heidi. Hi. Please. Heidi Warrington, Chair of the Blackhawk County Veterans Affairs Commission. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say that um, I will continue for my sixth year as a commissioner, but after two years of being the chair, I'm going to pass the baton to Henry Korf. And we're excited to have Chuck Wabina join us, and we hope that you approve it. He has one unique skill that we have been trying hard to 
to gather in a way to reach each veteran as they have a need but don't come forward. He runs a barber shop and has the, the ears of a lot of veterans that come in and we're grateful to add him to the commission. Do you want to come up and say anything, sir? I uh, just want to thank for the opportunity to do the service. Uh, in the 47 years I've been in a barbershop in downtown Waterloo, I've heard a lot about our veterans with the ups and downs and with the things that have happened with Kevin Dell. I have been very impressed and I want to step forward and do my best. And I thank you for the opportunity. Well, we thank you very much for your interest in the position, but also for the service and, and your continued service with the VA Commission. So thank you. It's been motion and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item C, <clears throat> motion that the personnel requisition for a payroll accounting manager full time in the auditor's office with an effective date of June 12, 2023 be approved at a salary of $69,049.67 as recommended by Grant Beter Auditor. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, motion carries. Motion that the personnel requisition for an accountant full time in the auditor's office with a start date no sooner than June 26, 2023 be approved as recommended by Grant Beter Auditor. So moved. Second. Then moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Personnel requisition approved. Item E, resolution that the taxes due and payable of the submitted persons as indicated, including special assessments and rates or changes, including interest fees and cost, in accordance with the provision of 427.9 of the Code of Iowa, be suspended and that future property taxes on property owned by the persons will be suspended for such time as the persons remain the owners of the parcels and during the period the persons receive assistance as described in 427.9 of the Code of Iowa. So moved. So moved. And moved and seconded. Please, if there's any discussion, I assume none, but please answer as your name is called. Little? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Drelka? Yes. Hall? Yes. Leyland? Yes. The time is 9.22. We are going into the hearing and bid opening on the proposed purchase of one excavator. Motion to receive and place on file of publication. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item two, motion to close the hearing after oral and written comments are received. So moved. Second. Mr. Reeder, are there any written comments? No, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, Ryan. So yeah, this is for a, um, just a replacement for our current excavator. Um, it's uh, mostly used by our bridge crew, but we also use it uh, during a lot of our ditch cleaning or culvert installation uh, uh, functions. We did receive two bids for it. Our budget was 205000 Thank you. So we'll do, take a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Oh, same sign, motion carries. Thank you. So. Great open amendment. Okay. Yes. First bid we have is from Murphy Tractor and Equipment. Their bid total is 232,500, 
271205. Uh, so that one is for. There's a couple different numbers in here actually. There's a second bid form. I presume it's for a different or slight, slightly different options from Altorfer for 246, 469, 246, 469. And those are the only two bids we had for this project. What was the what was the second company? Which one? The second one. Uh, from Altorfer. That was Altorfer? Yeah, they're okay. both from Altorfer. Where are they located? Um, I believe they're here in Waterloo, okay. Cedar Falls. Motion in place on file review. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Motion second that we place on file and we'll hear from you at a later date. Thank you. That's great. Thank you very much. Item 10 is a work session discussion of possible board action on American Rescue Plan at county projects. Anybody have? Oh. Yes, did, I was did we say, need to vote on that was, motion? I'm sorry. Did we need to vote on the motion? Yeah, that's what I was oh, I'm sorry if we did. <laughs> did we not grant? Oh, all in favor, we'll cover it if we didn't. Thank you. <laughs> all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. Save sign. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> motion carries. <laughs> so, as to the ARPA projects, was there a staff person I believe that wanted to say speak? Okay, I was going to say, or two. Hello, board. Al Yu, IT director, and joined here uh, with Aura Giving, maintenance superintendent. Um, at the last DARPA meeting that uh, we had, uh, we brought up um, a, a project that uh, was presented, I think, towards the beginning of the ARPA conversations. Um, it had to do with uh, upgrading our AV system in, in this room here. Um, one thing that uh, we have noticed uh, here lately is our meetings have tend to gone over uh, uh, two hours. And one thing we, we, we've been noticing from our system is when we hit that two hour mark, um, not every time, but uh, majority of time we have to reset the tape. And so it's set up to, uh, uh, to be a, a system that uh, uh, would would record uh, under two hours without having to restart and so we started looking at uh, and this is way back in um, I want to say June of 2022 uh, we started looking at uh, ways to improve our zoom capabilities because if you recall uh, uh, when we first started doing doing zoom we had uh, we had many issues with sound and quality and so forth uh, which I do believe has has gotten better um, but we still are seeing some issues with our HD recorder um, when it comes to that. Uh, people are coming to do a presentation. Uh, there's times where we've had uh, struggles uh, getting that to communicate with our system. And so I think it even goes a little beyond, um, you know, even in the particular HD recorder, but it may actually have to do with some of the devices that we have um, which help communicate. And so what we'd like to do is. Uh, bring that uh, project back to life. Uh, uh, we talked to the committee. They felt that it would be a, a project that could fall under ARPA. Um, the proposal that we had a year ago came in at 75000 and that would improve our, our cameras, our mics, our zoom capability, and our recorder. So it would be a full uh, uh, upgrade to the system. So your question for today, or your, what you're asking today then is? Um, we would we'll, we'll like for this to be submitted uh, to Baker Taylor for, for consideration. consideration. Any discussion, questions? Uh, uh, just a quick question. There was mention of Zoom. Mm -hmm. I know that the county currently uses Microsoft. Seems like there's a, a modest savings, but still a savings because there is a cost to Zoom and, and Microsoft Teams is free um, through our usage of, of so the technically suite. paying for it, but yes. Yeah. yeah. So, would these upgrades be compatible if we were to make a transition at some point to utilize the service that we're already paying for? Sure, I, I'm pretty sure it would be because Teams and Zoom are the biggest players in, in video 
obvious identification. So. Thank you. So that's going to be stated in the proposal, or or does it even need to be? No, that's just a question for them. Just a general question. Uh, maybe one other question. Sure. And I don't know if it was just something that we most recently saw, just a, a one-off, but uh, is there an issue with compatibility of plugging in a Mac um, versus a PC um, and uh, some IT issues? <laughs> no, no, there should not be. Um, okay. Like, it, it would be a much, a much more robust system. It would give us more flexibility. Okay. Currently, how this is set up, people can't just conveniently come up and, and plug their devices in. So that's the hope is to have all of that in, integrated with a new system. Plus better microphones and, and it's gonna be a great system. Okay. I'll offer a motion to send this to Baker Chili for review. Second. And moved and seconded. I don't know, we, do we need a resolution or just all in favor say aye? Aye. 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 Opposed, aye. opposed same sign. Okay, great, so thank you. Anything else on projects that anyone would like to discuss, supervisors or other? All right, moving on to item 11. Any reports or information from the board? I want to congratulate uh, Supervisor Hall on a really excellent and successful My Waterloo Days weekend. Um, been going to the festival for years, and this was obviously a, a huge um, step up in, in kind of the quality and the enjoyment of the festival, and, and to see so many. Um, people out in Lincoln Park, especially Friday night, um, that really represented the, the diversity and all the different parts of our of, of this the city and this entire community was was a really beautiful thing. And so, okay. hats off to you. Yeah. Thanks. Congratulations. On Only yeah. 360 days to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but who's counting? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure. Uh, just a, a real quick update: uh, the committee, uh, the the rebrand committee, did meet with three agencies. Uh, did a vote, and so we'll have a, a motion um, or a recommendation from that committee to the full board next week um, on the agenda. Great, thank you. I'll just make a note to the public. Um, you are all invited. Um, I'm featuring, or uh, my gardens are featured on two different tours this coming weekend. Uh -huh. um, the first is the Healthy Cedar Valley Coalition's Practical Backyards. Um, even though I think you'll look at, you know, you won't see anything very practical going on, <laughs> but it's, um, and then the, the other one in the afternoon is the Grout Museum um, Historical Homes uh, Garden Tour. And so um, really excited to, to share uh, what's growing with the public. It's time. I was just thinking of your garden yet, yeah, like yesterday or something, <laughs> so that's good news. Yeah, great. Anything from you? No nope. problem. Um, I'll just make a comment because I know we've seen some email exchanges regarding EMA and the IT services and that type of thing. And some of those conversations obviously have begun and some I think were even started maybe well over a year ago or whatever on that. So um, there is an EMA meeting obviously this week and we'll kind of get things going on that or put together so we can put something on the agenda for the board to review, question, whatever, whether it's a work session or discussion item and get moving on that. So, great. All right. Anything from you, Mr. Little? Oh, I was going to say maybe the Mr. Little threw him. I was going to say Tom. <laughs> okay, super. All right. Thank you. Is there a motion for adjournment? I moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All the same sign. Meetings adjourned.